Hey travelers, I'm just recently back from Mazatlan, which is on New Mexico's west coast. And uh, it was my first time there. I was really, really surprised and impressed um, by, well, by most of the food um, that we tried there. Um, and Craig and Paul, I know you're either there right now or you're going soon. So hopefully you get to see this video so you don't miss out on any of these great options. Um, so in today's video, I'm going to cover off four of the amazing different foods and restaurants that you have to try when you're at Mazatlan as well as one that you really want to avoid. And our first stop is Rin Rin Pizza. These are located all throughout Mazatlan, but this is the one that we went to in the downtown area, right by the market. And the taste of it reminded me of the pizza that you can get, the square ones in Playa del Carmen. But, oh man, this was so delicious. And for 36 pesos or two bucks, you just can't go wrong. And next stop is Fisherman's. This is located on the Malacan, about halfway down, and a great place to come for some beers in the afternoon, watch the sunset. You can sit in the sand or up on the deck. And uh, we had the fish and the grilled butter shrimp. It was absolutely delicious. They also had a band, and as you can see here, it was quite busy that night. Uh, if you are going to go and there's going to be a band, you definitely want to make reservations because they're quite good and definitely worth checking out. <laughs> Okay, our third recommendation is for Roy's Restaurant, and this is located at the marina and also really close to the Rue Emerald Bay Resort, easy walking distance from the hotel, and they've got these ribs on special, and when we walked by, I mean, our mouths were watering, it was just crazy, like, it was so delicious smelling and tender that we had to, of course, stop in and get a bite to eat. So here's my review of the ribs. Okay, so we're here at Roy's, uh, which is, uh, they do a little bit of everything. They've got steak, they've got fish. And um, we came here because the other day we saw on the grill outside that they had barbecue ribs. So I ordered some. I mean, this is massive. It was... Uh, I think 210 pesos, but Sunday they're on for 139. So really reasonable. Oh my God. <laughs> and it's literally like falling off the bone. So first bite. <laughs> I don't normally have this big of a portion, but I might actually not be sharing this. It's so good. It's literally falling off the bone. So this is down at the north end of Mazatlan. Highly recommend you come and try it. So we're here at Roy's. This is at Cerrado Beach. Uh, we've been here a couple of times, uh, sometimes for beers and sometimes for food. I've just ordered the um, shrimp Caesar salad with shrimp, with grilled shrimp. So take a bite. I have already had a bite. I know it's delicious. garlicky, buttery, and the salad is divine. I mean, Caesar salad was originated in Mexico, if you didn't know that. Um, so definitely this is a place to check out if you are in the area, if you're coming to Mazatlan. They also have a location at the marina by the hospital. So come and try it. Okay, so restaurant number four. Well, we went to the mall in Mazatlan, and as you could see, there was a Mac store, and there was an H&M, and even a Sears. So there were lots of great options, but we were hungry. We went to the food court, and we made a really bad decision. We got hungry for a Big Mac. <laughs> well, I guess that blows any chances of me getting sponsored by McDonald's, but oh well. I gotta say, I've not really ever been a fan but this kind of clinched it for me. And the only redeeming thing about this meal was that they were able to sell you beer to go along with it. In true fast food fashion, they couldn't even put the cheese properly on the bun. I ate half of it, ditch the rest, don't do it. Okay, and recommendation number five, which is actually my number one on the list, is El Sinaloense. Highly recommend it. It's located right on the water, and you're really close to the cliff divers, as well as the downtown area. So if you want to go to the market or have some sunset drinks on top of the Best Western, that's the yellow building that you see to the right there. It's really close to everything. Most of the time they have a banda playing, so just be aware it'll be a little bit loud, but they're having fun. 
The first thing we ate was some battered shrimp and a whole fried fish, which was delicious. And here's my review of another meal. Okay, so this is definitely a place that you have to come to. We've been here for three days, and we've been to this restaurant twice already. I'm going to show you a picture of the fish that we had the other day. It's called uh, La Sinaloense. I'm probably not saying that properly. And you can see they have music, live band. And this is the shrimp that we ordered. It's just shrimp cooked any way you like. Got it with the garlic butter. Have a little taste. Make it smaller. Fresh and so good. Yum. Definitely got to come here and try it. And this is another thing that we had. This was on the house. They brought us some seafood broth. And what he recommended is that you take the lime and squeeze the lime juice into it. And then once you've done that, to add some hot sauce to it. And they had a few different kinds. So Dean was the taste tester for this video and he likes spicy stuff. And uh, so he tried the habanero hot sauce. And I think that was quite a nice one. It had a nice flavor, but it had a pretty good kick to it. Nope, needs more spice. <laughs> so he whacked a bunch more in there and I have to say, honestly, it was actually a very tasty thing and made me actually think of coming home and making it myself. Very nice. So hopefully that made your mouth water just a little bit about some of those dishes. They were absolutely delicious and very reasonably priced as well. So you really can't go wrong with choosing a destination like Mazatlan, Mexico. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. We'll see you on the next one.